Today we examine just how many Social Security recipients have their homes paid off free and clear, and one survey reveals where Social Security is falling short. Building relationships is the way Mutual of Omaha has grown into one of the leading financial services companies in the world. Our reverse mortgage wholesale division is proud to carry on this 100 plus year tradition. To your borrowers, a reverse mortgage is more than a transaction. It's a promise of a better, more stress-free life. Our goal is to provide you, our valued client, with the best service and support possible so you can focus on helping your borrowers achieve the retirement of their dreams. Welcome back to the Industry Leader Update. What do the vast majority of age-eligible potential reverse mortgage borrowers have in common? Social Security. And for most, it is the linchpin of their retirement plan. With the Senior Citizens League reporting that over 40% of retirees are relying solely on Social Security benefits to survive, it's also no surprise that 62% of the program's recipients report that they are dissatisfied with their 2024 3.2% cost of living adjustment, or COLA. Next year's cost of living adjustment may be disappointing as well. The projected cost of living adjustment for 2025 is projected to be only 1.75%, a significant decline from the 3.2 and 8.7% increases in 2024 and 2023, respectively. While Social Security benefits are adjusted annually based on the percentage increase of the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, the accumulated cost of living far exceeds any boost in monthly payouts. We covered some of this in last week's episode, which exposed the CPI lie. A survey from Atticus found that nearly two out of five respondents receiving Social Security plan to work due to the modest 2024 COLA adjustment. One 65-year-old woman responded to the survey saying, utility, insurance, heating, and food costs have risen 8 to 14% in the last year. The 2024 COLA doesn't offset these rising costs. Then a 75-year-old woman said, my medical insurance supplement nullifies the Social Security increase. The spike in food prices hits hard, especially for those relying solely on Social Security. Nadia Vanderhall, a financial planner at the Brands and Bands Strategy Group, told Newsweek this, even though people can be within retirement for over 30 years, Americans are living longer while things are becoming more expensive. In response to the pressures of inflation, older Americans are making some difficult financial changes to cope with the higher cost of living. 64% are cutting back on their discretionary spending. That typically means less dining out or shopping. But there's a bigger problem. Even more painful are the 36% who report they're cutting back on their daily essentials. Now that could mean that they're cutting back on which groceries they're purchasing, which medications they're not refilling, or healthcare visits that they may be skipping altogether. Could a reverse mortgage provide some much needed relief and cash flow to these individuals? And could these cash-strapped individuals receiving Social Security find relief by tapping into a portion of their home's value? Well, to answer that question, we're going to look at the 2021 Bulletin, Housing Expenditures of Social Security Beneficiaries, that comes from the Social Security Office of Retirement and Disability Policy. Now, that report's data comes directly from the Census Bureau data, which surveyed households that have at least one person receiving Social Security. And here's what they found as of 2018. Renters accounted for 32.5% of Social Security recipients. Homeowners with a mortgage balance represented a median share of 25% of households, and only 12% owned their homes free and clear. The report also reveals that 16.9 million households with at least one person that is receiving Social Security benefits have zero or no outstanding mortgage. There's two words for that, market opportunity. A significant cohort of that group could be our potential needs-based reverse mortgage borrowers that we're familiar with, but keep in mind that that survey also includes individuals who are not relying solely on Social Security, and they may also have unmet financial needs, and that reverse mortgage could help. The report also found that household income was typically lower for those that had their mortgage completely eliminated because they're older than average, and also they have been more likely to retire from full-time employment several years ago. Also, they've had more years to pay off their mortgage balance. 
Now, what are your thoughts about the current state of our Social Security recipients and those who own a home? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, if you'd be so kind as to share this week's video on LinkedIn, we thank those of you that do that each week. Also, we do have a YouTube channel. If you have not seen it yet, be sure to go to YouTube and look for Heckam World. There you'll find all of our latest videos and you can subscribe and hit the notification bell. Every week we curate the most recent reverse mortgage or economic or real estate news for you as a mortgage professional interested in reverse mortgages. That's Heckam World Weekly. You can find us here at HeckamWorld.com or you can listen on Apple Music, Spotify, or on Podbean. Thanks again for joining us and be sure to return next week for more reverse mortgage news, commentary, and analysis you'll only find here at Hackin' World.